This is Realme X and this is the global version of Realme Phone Z. On the Realme Phone's lineup, this phone is considered to be the best one. Besides, the features of this phone are also pretty impressive. So before I start my review, please like the video, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any content. I am Mahima Gautam and today I have here with me the Realme X to review. I have been using this phone for quite a long time and the experience has been pretty good. The Realme X comes in generally two colors that is the space blue and the white color. It also comes in two editions that is the Spider-Man edition and the Master edition which also comes in two different variants. But today for the review I have the space blue one. Realme X has basically two variants. One is 4GB RAM and other is 8GB RAM. Interesting part is 128GB UFS 2.1 is common for both variants as inbuilt storage. 128GB storage is good enough for that price range. As this phone does not contain micro SD card slot, it is not good at that point for many. It seems a mid range phone to its price, but it is full of high end features like in display fingerprint scanner, AMOLED display, pop off camera flagship graded Sony IMX 586 camera sensor. Besides, its premium features are available in its build material. Realme X is entirely made of polycarbonate. Though it is a plastic build, it seems premium with its look and feels good on hand. Headphone jack is not missed, which is a good on this part. It has 3.5mm headphone jack, USB type port C, small speaker vent with Dolby Atoms audio support. At left, there are volume rockers and at right, there is a power button which are reachable and tactile. At top, it contains of pop-up selfie camera and at back, it has cameras in linear. You will get to know that Realme X has 6.5 inch full HD plus screen AMOLED panel which looks surprisingly good. Due to the s 2 s panel, all kinds of movies and video, especially gaming are better with clean screen nothing affecting the display. The full bright display does affect in direct sunlight. Brightness in direct sunlight is quite good but not perfectly visible. Protective film has been attached to the Realme phone plus in this phone you will find Gorilla Glass 5 protection. As it is a bezel-less display, its pop-off mechanism is fast enough to unlock the phone but it is annoying for me which is purely my personal opinion. But it should not be mostly recommended to unlock the phone. The display also includes the in-display fingerprint scanner, which is optical and is accurate and correct. Even with the wet hand, it works well. Realme X has Color OS 6 that is based on Android 9 Pie. Color OS 6 is polished, smooth and better than previous. App Drawer is welcome feature as well. The game space which curates free games from the Play Store is also available. but. It's a little redundant when you already have the Google Play Store. The user interface is still not that much inspiring and it is the core weakness of this phone. By the performance, it comes with the 710 Snapdragon processor which is slightly less powerful than 730. But in real uses, there is not much difference by the price range. 720 is better than 730. The phone costs you higher than expected because of the 730 processor. For gaming, you can play all kinds of high-end games like PUBG in SD graphics setting. Gaming experience is also much better in big screen where there is no lag starter, heating issue while playing. People who want to play Fortnite, they will also keep Realme in their list. My better experience with Realme X as well as the Realme 3 Pro is the charging. It has VOOC 3.1 20 watt charger. Interesting part is, within 30 minutes, it will charge more than 50%. So instantly, if you find your phone with low power, then you can charge it within very short time. I am not worried about battery backup as one day can easily go with single charge. For those who are regular type of users, they can go for more than one day. Realme X offers flagship grade camera in sensors undoubtedly as the main sensor. In rear, it has Sony IMX 586 that is always used in OnePlus 7 or OnePlus 7 Pro. Another 5 megapixel depth sensor is also there in the rear camera setup. 
Realme X has done an outstanding job with color science and algorithm. For low light and day, we might get confused for good pictures. But in case of Realme X, it is obvious that in both daylight and low light, it gives us outstanding performance. In my opinion, Realme X, it requires a wide angle lens that completes the camera setup. Images captured with this phone are very sharp and detailed and most surprising thing is its dynamic range. While looking at these pictures, it is easily visible that Realme X is too good with its dynamic range. Pictures are well exposed in challenging lighting conditions. Color looks a bit punchy and saturated, however, it looks good. And in some scenario, you can turn on the chroma boost option for colorful image. In low light or dark situation, there you will get a nightscape mode in its camera. And these images are satisfactory. Image taken in portrait mode seems average to me. Age detection is good, bokeh amount is natural, but in this mode, skin becomes smoother. 16 megapixel selfie camera performing with very nice details and color is natural in sufficient light. Portrait mode and beauty mode is in there with the front camera. You can also shoot up to 4K 60fps video with it. Also, it has EIS. Even you can shoot slow motion video up to 960fps, although it does not seem very natural. Finally, it is easy to say that Realme X will satisfy all kinds of users and basically the mid-range phone users. So if you like this phone, then for further information, you can visit our Gadget Frame website. And if you like the review, please like the video, subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon. We will see you soon with the new videos about new gadgets. Signing off for today. Goodbye.